Hello, I'm here with five strings. I'm going to play a uh, classic neo soul riff from, uh, well, I most remember it from the live album, Erica Badu's, I think it was her second release, certainly second major label release, Hubert Eves the Fourth. Oh, such a good rhythm section. Check it out. The play is amazing. Um, so, we have this, it's a 36 inch scale length custom five string with Q tuner, very clear pickups, passive electronics. I'm going to be running it with both pickups on in parallel mode and then I'll go round again the front pickup, so neck pickup. Mm. We're running straight into a power amp via an RMI bass switch which is a very clean preamp pedal and on that we have it set flat apart from in the lower register where we've got lows boosted about halfway. That's a very low voice bass knob. It's, uh, it's a shelf centred at 30 hertz, well centred as much centred as a shelf can be. And a uh, the low mid is bumped up a few dB. And I say low mid, it's kind of a upper bass. It's I got it set all the way down which is at 90 hertz. So really trying to fatten things up because it does sound very fat on that record. So that was with both pickups in parallel, so it's kind of a Fender jazz sort of tone because that is roughly in a 60s J position and that is roughly in a jazz neck position, J bridge position obviously. Um, that's quite close to a precision position as well. Jazz and precision pickup are in about the same place. Obviously they've been adapted for the fact that this is a 36 inch scale, not a 34 inch scale. If you're curious about more about the bass, this is a through neck. Uh, it's a Wenge through neck, like Morix used to be made of, I'm not sure if they are now. Uh, Wenge fretboard and then ash stringers, ash body, ash top, and it's chambered. So uh, to get the, uh, the body wings resonating more. And then unusual headstock with um, these kind of cool locking tuners. Same again, but this is just the neck pickup. Thanks to the wonders of technology, the Super Compact, which was there, has now turned into a Big Twin 2. So I'm just going to do a quick AB between a Big Baby 2 and a Big Twin, and then I'm going to go back to the Big Baby 2, 
but adjust the gain using the preamp pedal to compensate for the fact that the Big Baby 2 is an 8 ohm load, the Big Twin 2 is a 4 ohm load, the extra driver adds a bit more efficiency, so you will be hearing a subtle tonal difference between the Big Baby 2 and the Big Twin 2, but what I don't want to happen is you to get fooled by the change in loudness as well, so this is going to help try to uh, normalise the perceived loudness so you can focus on the change in tone. So we'll do Big Baby 2, straight change to a Big Twin 2, and then gain adjustment, change back to a Big Baby 2. Clear as mud? Excellent. So we've got both pickups on, set parallel, so you know, like pickups normally are when they're equally mixed. I have an extra setting on this bass, it's got a four-way switch, which gives me a series setting which kind of sounds monstrous and rocky. Thank you, goodbye. Um, there will be more to come, but this is just a bit of initially dipping into five string with uh, this strange custom beast. I'll be back. <laughs>